My, my, if it isn't the real world consequences of all those gym ladies clout chasing. So says Lauren Chen in a tweet showing a video of a young woman trying to squat some hefty weights and being unable to do so. And then when she gets pinned down and needs help because she has no spotter, none of the men will come and help. And then ultimately, it's a woman who comes and helps her lift these weights. I'll play the the video for you in a second. But uh, for those that are, are, are not understanding the full context here, we had this story a while ago. This is last month, or this is only a few weeks ago, actually. Viral TikTok shows women getting upset about feral man glancing at her in the gym, but many accuse her of seeking attention. This chick, who apparently has like an OnlyFans, is mad because she's filming herself do hip thrusts with the weight. And the guy, every something looks over, like, oh. and then eventually he's like, you need any help putting those back? And she's like, no, ha, weirdo. She doesn't literally say that. But in the video, she basically does with text like, oh, these feral men are staring at me at the gym as I'm doing something weird. Look, the first thing I'll say is, don't be creepy. You know, don't be creepy to women. You know what I mean? Like if a woman's working out, just let her work out. The other thing I'll say to women is, yeah, a guy might look at you. I don't know. If, if he's not bothering you, dudes look at women. Is that like a new thing? The other thing is this chick's filming herself and the guy may be like, I wonder what she's doing. Like he's looking at her filming herself. Like, what is this? And she's mad that he looked at her. Well, I'll tell you what the real world consequences are. I have done a couple segments over the past few years about how men are refusing to help women and children. And you know, the funny thing is they always do really well. And I think there's something... I don't know, primal about uh, uh, the, the, the feeling men get seeing these stories. There's a combination of disdain, like it's sad that this has become our society, and also kind of, I don't know, um, schadenfreude, definitely, and um, catharsis. I'm sure there's a lot of dudes who watched this video of a woman wearing skin tight pants where you can see her butt crack, struggling to lift a weight, and then when she asks for help, no one listens and no one cares. Now, I will say this, though. I don't know this woman. I don't know that she's done anything to anybody. I don't know that she's the kind of person who would yell at a guy for looking at her. She, we should not be mad at her because some other chick did this thing or other women have complained about men in the gym. I certainly think men in gyms can be creepy. I certainly think women have a right to be upset if a dude's being creepy. And that woman who is like, oh, my God, the guy's looking at me. It's like, yeah, dude, calm down. I am not going to rag on this woman as an individual. Because I see her doing nothing wrong in this video other than wearing, you know, like ridiculously skin tight pants. Maybe she's comfortable in them. That's that's totally her thing. I mean, it actually looks like, looks like she might not be wearing pants at all, but I'm pretty sure she's wearing just like skin tight leggings, socks going up. All I see here is a woman who lifted too much, couldn't squat it and then uh, squat lift or whatever it's called. And then nobody would help her. So this is not a criticism of her. It's, an, it's, a, it's a discussion on the real world consequences of all the clout chasing. Let me, let me play for you this video. And uh, it, it is kind of sad. It's kind of sad. So she's trying to squat. I don't, I don't know what is that. Is that like 80 pounds or something? I can't tell. Oh, she actually does. She does. She gets it. She's going for it again. And then I think. And now she can't. Uh oh. Nope. Can't get it. And uh, like, really, that's it. There's like two guys over here. And you'll see her. She just like looks over. Excuse me. Nope. Ain't looking. Not falling for it. Not falling for it, dude. Excuse me. No, I don't blame these guys. I'm not falling for it either. Okay, I'm not falling for it. Look, I'm going to mind my own business. I'm not going to look. I'm going to do my thing. Because the last thing anybody wants is for one of these women who are clout chasing to film you. And then the, the, the real reason they're saying excuse me is because they're going to complain about something you did. It's unfortunate. And then what ends up happening is she sits there, she says, excuse me, oh my goodness. And, and then some woman just starts lifting and like ignoring her. People are walking past, nobody's helping her. And then finally, here, let's, let's play the last part of it, 20 seconds. She says, hey. And then uh, this woman puts the, uh, the weight back. I think she then asks, can you help me? You think you can help me out over here? Yeah, yeah. And then another woman comes over and lifts and they put it back and she's good. I want to make sure I stress this point. This this woman lifting this weight did nothing wrong. She just I, I mean, the only thing she did wrong was she lifted too much and she didn't have a spotter. I'm not I'm not a gym kind of person. I don't know the proper techniques for all this stuff. I skate. That's my thing. And uh, she lifted more than she could. She needed help. 
Nobody was there to spot her. Maybe you should have someone. Some people have suggested she could have just thrown it off her back and dropped it. I, I don't know. I kind of feel like that could be dangerous. And maybe the, the right thing was just to ask for help. She wasn't being crushed or anything. She just didn't have the strength to lift it back up. I want to stress, I feel bad for this woman. Dudes should be, and I shouldn't, dudes, men, women, anybody should be like rushing over and be like, do you need help? The problem is a dude can't ask her if she needs help. So this woman is sitting there squatting, saying, hey, excuse me, none of my business. I'm not getting involved because y'all are filming this stuff. And if I walk over and I say, uh, excuse me, ma'am, you, you seem to be stuck. Do you need a spotter? And she goes, oh, how dare you, you feral creep. That's what's happening. Now, look, we had that one viral story. And I'm not saying that's indicative of every single circumstance in a gym where a woman's filming. But when these videos go viral and when you have toxic masculinity in the news and when, when there's been nothing but attacks on masculinity for the past 10 years, I shouldn't say nothing, but I'm exaggerating, but you get my point when it's persistent in the media, dudes are going to be like, please just leave me alone, man. I'm just trying to stretch my hamstring. You know, this dude over here is sitting there clearly doing stretches and she's yelling and he's not having any of it. Now, I think it's a fair point. Maybe the dude just had earbuds in and no one heard them. Because I think in most normal circumstances, the average person is going to be like, sure, I'll help. I don't care. But this is another story in line with a bunch of stories we've seen. And I'm going to bring it up again. In Philadelphia, I think it was a woman. A woman was attacked on a train by a guy who had his way with her while everyone watched. That's crazy. This just started filming. And I have to talk about how, like, I'd probably just lose it. I'd, I'd probably just see red if I saw that going on on a train. Now, granted, I understand there's difficulties. A guy could have a knife, a weapon. You might not be able to actually do anything if some dude's got a gun because they make it so you can't have a gun and they can. Imagine if you were allowed to carry weapons to defend yourself and others. They don't allow it. They let criminals do it. And certainly anyone who's going to attack a woman on a train, any guy who's going to do that, probably got a weapon of some sort. So now we're in this predicament where it's not just that men don't want to do it because they're cowards or anything. It's because they're like, dude, I'm disarmed. I cannot help that woman. That woman is disarmed. She couldn't even help herself. Hey, you want feminism? Give that woman, I don't know, a 380. Something small she can fit right in her pocket. Give, give her the right to keep in bare arms to defend herself so that no man will pin her down on a train while everyone watches. But they've taken that right from people. And you know what? This is what you typically get from Democrat politicians. You get women saying, we're equal. Fine. I'm not going to help you lift weights. Women say, we don't want guns. Fine. You don't get it. It's not just women saying that. I'm not saying only women. I'm saying it's a tendency among the Democratic Party to skew female. Women overwhelmingly vote Democrat. It really is the divide. If you look at the maps, the United States, if you say if only women voted, the whole country's blue. If only men voted, only Oregon and Washington turned blue. The whole country's red. So if they want to keep voting for gun control, don't get mad if no one's going to come to your aid. Now for me, I'll go live in the middle of nowhere, have some chickens and mind my own business. And out here in West Virginia, we got constitutional carry and you can be armed. And good. I think you should be. There is a, I tweeted out an image. I think it was a Spike Cohen. He said, how does this image make you feel? And it's a woman in a grocery store and she's got a, a, a I don't know what kind of gun. Maybe it looks like a 1911 or a Desert Eagle or something. A uh, pistol in a, in a holster. And she's looking at bread. And my response was, it makes me angry seeing this photo. Look at all those carbs, all those glutens. Lady, you got to eat meat, eating all that bread. Nice gun, by the way. I don't get mad about it. I think more women should be armed. Now, there are guys who are like the concern with women being armed is they get scared more easily and will shoot you. Like if you see a lady cop, she'll panic and she might shoot you. And it's like, yeah, well, too bad. The right to keep and bear arms in the Constitution does not say, it, the, the, the right of the people to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed unless, of course, you're a scared woman. Nope. It doesn't say shall be infringed unless, of course, it's fully automatic. Doesn't say it. You should be able to have guns. Anyway, off the gun subject, subject and back to the chivalry subject. If this woman was, was lifting heavier weights and she was in serious trouble, she could be injured. She could break her back. I saw one video where a guy was lifting and it was too much and then he threw it behind him. And it bounced and hit him in the spine and actually like severed a nerve. And he was like, what the just happened? Like, that's crazy. I don't know if dropping heavy weights is the right thing to do. Maybe this lady should have said, hey, can you spot me? This is pretty heavy for me. I'm going to give it a try. Maybe she shouldn't have gone so heavy. Maybe that was irresponsible. That's the only thing I can say she did wrong. You know, maybe she's a really nice person. 
But when you see these videos of these clout chasers ragging on dudes, for all we know, the guy was looking at her because he's like, that's heavyweight. Like, I, if she gets in trouble, I mean, someone's going to have to remember. She's got no spotter. But these, it's, it's such the epitome of arrogance. These nasty, man, toxic femininity tenfold. It's just, man, it's just, it's just ego, arrogance, and it's just the worst. Clout chasing garbage. You well, know, you get the society that you ask for, and you will reap what you have sown. And here's a video of it. Nothing bad happened to this woman, and I'm happy for it. Because, uh, happy for her. I don't know who she is. And again, I'm not trying to say she did anything wrong other than lifting too much weight without a spotter. And I'm glad that someone came over and lifted it. But you know, seeing this video right now, this is the warning. If, if people are like, you can't talk to me, don't talk to me because you're a dude and you're feral, then what happens when a woman is seriously in trouble and she's trying to bench press or something and she's like, help, help, help. And everyone's like, I'm not getting involved. You go mind your own business. I don't think we will get to the point where someone would not rush to save a woman who might be might be choking or crushing her throat or something. But there may be a point where someone she yells help or whatever and a guy comes to help her and then that guy gets in trouble. Well, we'll see. Anyway, I'll leave it there. Next segment's coming up in a few minutes. Stick around and I'll see you all shortly.